Well, on this album, we decided for the very first time to, uh, on a studio album, uh, to actually do a cover version. When we thought about doing a Tamil Motown one, prog style, this kind of stuff. And then we kind of, you know, thought Transatlantic have done all this before. Mm. And, uh, you know, it's all... Uh, we, we, we thought, let's try doing something a bit different with this cover version. So the next thought was, how much further down the line do we go? We could do... Um, we could do a cover version of somebody else's cover version. Hmm. You suggested... That we do a cover version of a cover version that had never actually been done way before it could have possibly been done. Right, that was it. So that about it? So that was the premise. We, um, <clears throat> we invented this idea, um, and the idea was that Yes did a cover version of Watch of the Skies by Genesis, not only before Yes were famous, but before Genesis had really even formed. We came up with all these ideas and we wrote a kind of fiction that goes with this song. We decided exactly when and where Yes had recorded it on a French television show. And we decided that Jonathan King, who was a pop star at the time, had brought along his protégé from Charterhouse School, Peter Gabriel, which of all is slightly possible because uh, Jonathan King was indeed looking after Peter Gabriel's interests at the time. So we recorded this under the premise that Jonathan King had suggested that Peter Gabriel sings this song that he'd written with Yes during the sound check. And the fictitious French sound engineer, Gilles Lefebvre, <laughs> left the tape running. And of course, although that the, broad the broadcast was never made on the television, Gilles Lefebvre stole the tape and played it on his very, very French pirate radio station. Um, broadcasting from northern Italy. And so we have this incredible rare recording of Yes with Peter Gabriel on vocals doing a version, a very early version of Genesis's classic track, Watcher of the Skies. After we'd done the recording, um, which was done in, a, in our tiny little uh, room studio, um, just the two of us were on it to start with, and Jonathan and myself. Jonathan played bass, and uh, I played um, everything else on keyboards, including the guitar. And uh, <laughs> we then actually asked uh, some people who sound a lot more like Yes uh, than we do, i.e. a Yes tribute band called Say Yes, um, to come and do the vocals for us. And when they came, we got a big surprise because the guy who we originally thought was going to sound like John Anderson sounded so like Peter Gabriel that this whole track suddenly blossomed in front of us. And we're thinking, wow, this just sounds great. And adding a little bit of interference and radio static to the mix, we released this to a bootlegger on the internet who, uh, who lapped, it up with, <laughs> lapped it up with glee, thinking he'd got an absolute uh, scoop. Within, um, within sort of... 12 hours, um, the MP3 that we'd sent to the bootlegger had had about a thousand hits on YouTube. Um, and of course, everybody knew it was a fake. And of course, we expected everybody to know it was a fake because it's all so well documented. I mean, people can actually, you know, virtually relive John Anderson and Peter Gabriel's lives online in various places. Um, you can actually become Peter Gabriel for a day and see the world through his eyes, probably. Um, but <laughs> the fact is, is that although these people guessed that it was a fake, it just became apparent that absolutely none of them knew how we'd done it. <laughs> In fact, everybody was suggesting, <laughs> everybody was suggesting that it had been, it was one of these mashups where we'd taken loops and little recordings of, of other people's songs and, and mixed them together somehow. And they were all discussing for three days how, how we'd done that. Um, they suggested that we'd use Peter Gabriel. They suggested that we'd use um, a recording of Yes. Um, which they suggested we'd use a recording of Steve Hackett and Bill Bruford um, and mashed it all together somehow. Um, and it took three days before one person came on and said, <clears throat> maybe it's some musicians. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and the terrific bit was then we, then we got a bloke who said, who said, the bass, the bass is not real. The bass is a sampled bass. You can tell. Yes. 
Is the bass a sample bass, Jonathan? Uh, no, the bass is not a sample bass. This is a genuine bass. <laughs> it's a bass guitar. Me. That's right. Now, the great thing was, is that the very same person who thought and was absolutely convinced that this was a fake bass guitar completely missed the fact that the real, the, the, the electric six-string guitar was in fact fake, <laughs> but the bass was not. <laughs> And uh, we had people who said that there was John Anderson was singing it. Then yeah. somebody saying that's not John Anderson, it's Peter Gabriel. Mm -hmm. The whole bloody title of the video was Peter Gabriel sings with yes. So the first thing that somebody thinks of, <laughs> oh, that's not John Anderson. It sounds like Peter Gabriel. And they actually said, they actually, there's a part at the end of it where three vocalists go like this. And on this. These people were saying, that's physically impossible to do for a human being. <laughs> <laughs> it's physically impossible, it must have been a sampler. And the point is, is that like, okay, if it's physically impossible for, it, for a human being to do, that means there were three superhumans around that microphone, yeah. because we were in the kitchen doing it. And um, it was all done by real people playing real or virtual musical instruments, and we didn't use any samples. One thing I particularly enjoyed about the response on the various forums is that there's one chap in particular who said, um, I've put this through extensive waveform analysis and it's definitely, definitely 100% Chris Squire on the bass. Now I take that as an enormous professional compliment. Uh, he's one of my favourite bass players. I was playing with a plectrum for the, for the first time in about 15 years and uh, we somehow managed to get a, a fairly good uh, impression of uh, Chris Squire together. However, I would like to say that um, if this chap's watching this, all your hard work is for nothing. I think you've got too much time on your hands, and I think you should find yourself a girlfriend. I mean, one of the things that really came over was, it was almost like vindication for my opinions that I've voiced during the song, The Wiki Man. Because once this video was out there, um, and it's not even a video, it's just a picture of a cassette with the music. Uh, the very fact that it had the words, yes, and Peter Gabriel in the title means that that piece of music um, was played more on YouTube in one night than, than, than our properly professionally made video that we'd done for the tangent had been in three months. Um, but the opinions that started to mount up were so de facto, and they were not taking any notice of each other. As, as Jonathan mm -hmm. said, a person said he, it was definitely Chris Squire. We had people who definitely heard Phil Collins singing we definitely heard um, Steve, uh, Steve Howe on guitar. And, and, and uh, unbelievable things because none of these people were on it whatsoever. Right at the, in the middle of all this, one person came along and he had absolutely 100% caught us out. He caught us out by noting that a radio broadcast made in 1970 would not have been made in stereo. And we would have had to hold our hands up and say, you've got it, you've got it. But everybody else didn't turn around and say, well done, mate, you've got it. What they did was they went on saying, it's a fake, it's a fake, it's a fake, it's a fake. I know how it was done. <laughs> so they completely missed the bloke who got it right. So uh, today, um, we haven't actually disclosed this to these people yet, but I have this kind of funny feeling that it's not entirely outside the bounds of reality, that if I actually go and put on and say, it's a fake, it was us, there'll be a short period of silence, and then everybody will go, liar, fake! <laughs> anyway, that's what we did.